Hello, and welcome to episode 5b of the 100 spin test, where I take roulette strategies and deliberately play them poorly. There are too many distractions which prevent people from playing perfectly. So the goal of this channel is to honestly see if certain flat betting strategies can deal with real world situations. True to the channel's name, I will run 100 spins this session. Thanks to the house edge which varies between 1.35 to 7.7%, a large number of consecutive unmodified bets can drain a bankroll. With any luck, we can uncover and exploit an exception. Keep in mind that casinos are not there to make you rich. So test strategies on a simulator and read the critiques of any strategy that you are planning to use. Also, all roulette players should remember that no system works all the time. Adjust your risk level accordingly. Today's test strategy is the second of four of the French bets that are shown on European roulette wheels, today's bet is Voisin's du zero. There are 17 winning numbers out of a possible 37, giving you a 46% likelihood of winning on each spin. The bet consists of 9 units covering the 17 numbers that lie between 22 and 25 on the wheel, including the 22 and 25. Two units each are placed on the 0, 2, 3 trio and the 25 to 29 corner and one each on the 4 to 7, 12 to 15, 18 to 21, 19 to 22 and 32 to 35 splits. This bet includes all seven numbers in due due zero. You will win nine units if the ball lands on 4, 7, 12, 15, 18, 19, 21, 22, 25, 26, 28, 29, 32, and 35, and 15 units if the ball lands on 0, 2, or 3. Based on the design of the empty chart at the bottom right of the screen, I'm giving you an idea which way this test is going to go. With that out of the way, let's speed things up and watch the progress. I'll be back at the end to summarize. The Ju Zero strategy as played was a winner, but this was definitely a surprise. The numbers won 50 times which was four more than expected. Of those, we had 40 for regular wins and 6023 jackpots. There were two fewer jackpots than expected which was overcome by an excessive number of regular wins. We reached a high water mark of positive 24 units and a low of negative 84 before settling at a 24 unit profit at the end of the spins. I performed some statistical tests on the results. The chi-square test indicated that these results were likely random. The average number of spins before we got a hit was 2.0 with a standard deviation of 1.3. That means that two-thirds of wins should have happened between two and four spins and 95% of wins would have occurred between one and four spins. This unsurprisingly coincides with the largest number of misses between wins for the test. This test would not have been a winner if it weren't for the fact that the last six spins were winners and the last four were jackpots. Imagine six consecutive coin flips. This is incredibly unlikely. The bet seems more volatile than the data indicates. If I were to play this one, I'd watch for four consecutive losses or three if I was more risk tolerant and martingale until a win. Obviously, this is no guarantee, but hopefully it might increase your chances. Good luck until the next time.